the DOA. Well, one that's like the DOA 2 on, but with gloves. Ooh, nice. They got this one, which is quite nice. I think Eleanor tends to get really nice outfits. I'll just go with this one. I like, I, I, I like the fingerless glove look. It looks good. Though... Ooh, better than remembering. Yeah. Wait, this is the exact same place I fought Leon before as Christy. And wasn't he like the first fight I had too? Oh, fuck. If, if, if this becomes a thing, then basically it's going to be fighting a uh, fucking Genfu. Absolutely. Shit, no, don't, don't. Fuck! Son of a bitch! Already losing. I don't even know what that means. Come on then, you son of a bitch. Oh. I'm not sure if there's a fence on this side. There is on the other one, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait. No, no, I don't, don't think you can go over that. Yeah, now I do understand. You've drowned. Ha ha ha. And the Tina. It's kind of funny though, because uh, in the uh, in the movie, Eleanor was actually uh, actually look actually is uh, she actually looks about twenty five. Like the actress is uh, fairly young. Who plays her? And that's not her name. She's you know what I'm saying she's fairly young. Um, and she uh, actually uh, looks right for the part. Well, not, she I mean, she, she doesn't look right for the part because the character looks a lot older than she's supposed to be. Though she looks about the right age for the. She looks about 25, the actress. So it's this weird thing where she, where she doesn't look right. She doesn't look right for the role, but if, well, compared to the game version. But if you take the role on its own, this 25-year-old woman, it, it, it makes sense. Though, in the movie, she's not French at all. Like, well, in, well, she, she might, she might be at least. She's only half French, so I guess she could still be half. Well. Her, her full nationality is never revealed, actually. Like, her mother's presumably French. Fame Dunks' nationality is never given, I don't think. Hmm. Fuck off. Fuck. Yes, yeah, so these are all the like, dance remixes of, uh, remixes of uh, previous theme songs. And you can probably get a, unlock a bunch of... Um, you can get a bunch of a bunch of uh, old bunch of older tracks in Dead or Alive Ultimate as DLC. As D I'm having the original as DLC. Most of the DLC in five, like damn near all of it, is just unlockable in last round, and a bit of it from Ultimate is too. You want to hire me even though I killed your dad? Wait, you killed my dad? Oh shit! Memory eraser tool, and then he erases a memory. Cause that's exactly what happens. If you don't believe me, go back and watch the last episode. I approve, I'll, I'll, and that'll be like all the proof you need. You might not notice it, but your brain did some shit. Anyway, so shit. And Bayman was probably the character that got ruined the most in the movie because he's just like some fucking retarded. Like he's, he's one of those like guys who's so dumb to the point of being of seeming retarded. He's one of those uh, retarded henchman guys for Donovan. No, the, 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 like, the one, I like, fucking, the one person, person who should not work for Donovan in any capacity. Aside from the fact he's, he's other than the fact he killed Fame Douglas, but like, the movie kind of goes with the idea that like, he, he just, he was just there with Donovan. Like, Donovan was there at the time, and Bayman just broke his neck. And Eleanor saw it from the other side of a screen or something. So she knows Donovan did it. I don't know, the... It was a poorly told story. Come on then, let's go. Wait, these these two was partners back in the 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 the, the X Ultimates. I f yeah, when Eleanor a tag partner at one point, I'm sure she was. I forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, um, I, I just got just got done yesterday editing the episodes in which Eleanor teamed up with. It teamed up with me, yeah. Fuck off. Ooh, so close. And I won. 
it. Oi. Smack in the face to the floor. When my face, when my, when my face, when my fist hits your face and your face hits the floor, it'll be a long time coming. But you've got the message now. You're the one who's going down or whatever, mate. That's a, it's a song. I was using the, I was using the Tekken movies. Well, the, I pluralized that for no reason. Cause there actually are multiple Tekken movies. Like, how the fuck that Tekken movie got any of those? Well, they've been one of each one's a different one, but except they did a, a prequel to the live action one for some reason and it's got nothing to do with Tekken other than having like four characters in it and it's like it just sounds awful and the guy who plays um, Kazu in that movie is also a uh, review in the De Dead or Alive movie for some reason and he's also he's also was in um, apparently was in uh, one of the Street Fighter animated movies doing the voice of well Ryu Yeah, the same move I used against Hitomi as well. Can you feel my melody? Can you see my tits? I should do that just to show them off, don't she? Was this scene in Lisa's story? I don't remember. I don't think it was. Yeah, for some reason... Yeah, for some reason, Eleanor's story does not include the, the, the Kasumi scene. We can't stop Alpha from waking up. There's only one way to stop her. I don't know why they don't just work together or something, but yeah. I can't think about fighting games. Characters have, can't, just, can't just decide to work together. If two, if two characters meet, they have to fight. This is the law of the, the fighting games is... Come on, you bitch. No! Don't hurt me! Don't kill me. Uh, for some reason, the whole bullshit that came up with the Kung Lao mod character models in MK211 just came into my head. Where they just, where they, I think they got the models mixed up on like 12 different occasions. They just really fucked up everything in that fucking game. So if I'm not fighting the Kasumi or the Hayati, who am I fighting? Oh wait, it's this scene. Is that Christie's music? Oh, it's the Christie. What's happening? I don't get you, Christie love. What are you laughing at? Not this again. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. That's 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 not how it ha how it happened at all. Because <laughs> according to DOA two, a mother should drove. I guess I wanted to make more sense. But it's kind of funny that Christian never took the second shot. But this reveals basically everything you need to know about the whole sequence. That Christy um, was sent to kill Eleanor. Why she then wasn't used to? Why uh, Donovan didn't just use her then to? assassinate Eleanor's father as well, I don't know. Stop hitting me, Christy, you bitch. No! Damn it! Son of a bitch! You can, you can stop hitting me! You don't need to do, like, four combos and when I'm already dead. Bitch! And... Oh! Oh, that was a cool move, I admit. That, that awesome combo, that, not, not combo, counter, I keep doing. Nope. Ooh! And she's down. And thus we reach the final ending of Dead or Alive 4. It's like, oh gee, her, her mother has died. But this seems to imply that she, well it could be that after her father died. They kind of get the impression that she didn't really know her dad because she never gives a shit about finding out who killed him. Aerosmith. So Alpha wakes up and look, she fights Kasumi, proving that this fight is canon. And look, she's even got a ponytail. 
instead of just one hair long. Yep. As usual, the the the, the uses of song is actually really good. Like the way these Aerosmith songs are put into these scenes is brilliant. But the shitty orchestral music they use. Oh. It's just in, in Dimensions, is just shit. That woman then was um, one of Fame Douglas's other mistresses, because he had a lot. Including Kokoro's mother. It's just so out of place, though. Just, just this whole scene about Eleanor's story. And then she, pres she apparently shot one of. A dad's other mistresses for some reason. I mean, it could have been Christy, but presumably Eleanor. Then Alpha's like, ha 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 ha. Ooh, I, I've run away. And the dude's just like, I will destroy every single one of you. I love that part. In fact, fun of that guy though um, was the subject of uh, this, this theory. Like, it was theorised before Dimensions that that guy was actually Donovan. Then Donovan showed up in Dimensions like, no, it's, it's not him. He's just some random guy. And this is a marked um, change in Ayane's character. She may have actually forgiven Kasumi by now. Or at least gotten over it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the ending. It's, it's it's actually a really powerful scene, surprisingly. No, it's, it's surprising just how powerful that scene actually is. Like, you, you really wouldn't think it would be, but bloody hell. I think it's just that Itagaki for all these problems as a storyteller and this his emphasis on sexualizing the characters, even though he considers the female characters custom in particular to be like daughters to him, for all these problems, he knows how to put a song to good use. Look, Eleanor even gets top billing. You know? Sp Spartan? What? No, that's not a thing. But yeah. I find, I find, yeah, Halo stuff in the credits. But yeah, I find it, um, it really is impressive just how well Isagaki can put these Aerosmith songs in. But this, this is, I think DOAX, DOAX 2 is like the, was the last, either that, not Ninja Gaiden 2 after that, that was the last game Isagaki did with Techno before he got fired. Or left the company over um, sexual harassment allegations, which unfortunately you hear, you hear about that and you think, yeah, makes sense. So yeah, um, no, this just—he he said that he had DOA 5's ending thought, uh, the, the DOA 5's intro cutscene thought up already, but. Sadly, that that we never got to see what that was like. He never revealed anything about what he had planned for DOA 5, though. He did eventually say he, there were no plans for DOA 5, because DOA 4 is the perfect fighting game. And I know I'm not that great at this game, but I think even that aside, looking at this, you can tell there's a lot of improvements to be made, like bring back easy mode, so you have at least an option. Don't have a fucking stupidly overpowered boss. Uh, don't have r shitty hair physics. Uh, have more costume like in Ultimate. Don't bring back Tengu because he's a piece of shit. You know, the, the obvious stuff. I, and there's always room for improvement. There's no such thing as a perfect game or anything perfect, really. Other than me and my Let's Players because they're perfect. But that aside, there's nothing perfect in the world. So it might be a good thing Itagaki left. Not only just because of the less than focus on the sex appeal and having the characters be blow up dolls effectively.
but also because I allowed someone to come in and say, yeah, Dewey 4 is not the perfect game. That's a stupid idea. There's other stuff that can be done with Dead or Alive that can be make, done to make it better. And when I get to DOA 5, you will see that they did make a lot of really good improvements and Itagaki was full of shit. Douche. Oh, what? Fire? It's like... Awesome. What? Yeah, that just happened. This amazingly poignant ending for the game is interrupted by the, the comic relief character coming in and saving the day. That's... <laughs> it's hilarious. But it's also really, well, sad. As a result of that, Zack is now one of the main characters. Fucking hell.